Hello everybody. It's late to the party. Uh, names for first video. Name comes from a lot of reviews being done, a lot of channels coming up. Um, and jumping into this party kind of late. So uh, if you like the content, I'll be putting more out as I get more shoes. I got a couple shoes that I can do. Um, go ahead and subscribe, please. Uh, hit the thumbs up leave comments on what you think and what you think about the shoe but anyway what you're here for is some clay green Air Jordan 1 from Coco I haven't worn them yet as you've seen laced them up laced one shoe up threw some flare on it Got some uh, aglets that I got from Amazon, super glued them. Thought that that added a little flair to the shoe. But um, let's get on to the shoe. As you can see, the shoe looks really good. I mean, the, the quality is good. Um, from Reddit and doing my reviews and looking at people's posts, people are complaining about this curve here kind of going pointing towards the end of the hole and not back to the middle of the hole. Uh, to me, you know, a lot of the reps that were coming out around the time that I got these, all of them from the uh, Blue Moon, Track Red, I got the uh, Yellow Okra, or if I'm pronouncing that right, the swooshes were all kind of shaped the same. Um, they look pretty good uh, to me. Uh, tell me what you think. I don't know uh, if retail was having some issues like that or not. Um, I don't buy retail unless I hit. And I swear on the Flex app, I've been, I had 6,000 points beginning of this year. I'm down to about 20 something and haven't hit once, not once. Now I know that what it, what people say is go spend money, but well, that's, that's another topic for another video. But anyway, this shoe here, as you can see, the suede, I ain't done nothing to it. What a lot of people don't tell you that I've learned when you hit it with the suede brush, it'll leave like, uh, cause when you're, when you're hitting it with the suede brush, it takes off the suede, the dead suede, or, or some of the material, and it gets on the, onto the sole. And because of this material, it sticks to the sole. So you try to wipe it off, it don't wipe off with just a, a dry rag. You have to use a wet rag, which you leave a wet mark or a mark around the shoe. As you see, there's been no water on it. As you guys know, with suede or nubuck, when you put water on it, you could tell you know, after it's dried where water has been. But, you know, this shoe here, this one in particular, as you can see, my God, it feels soft, like really soft. Like the uh, University Blue One soft. That's how soft this feels. Feels good. Got the little bit of a, actually you got a good uh, hourglass to the back. Got some glue marks, but I don't care about that. That ain't my concern. And anybody that's got any suede or new buck shoes, you know that you're gonna get some glue marks. Um, stitching looks a little sloppy there, but I don't care about that. What I'm concerned about is the toe box. It ain't too big. You see these toe boxes that stick up like that are like that high. Uh, some of them come in. I don't know a lot of them designed that way. Uh, the other issue that you'd run into is uh, the holes not being right. But Coco, she, for the most part, she puts out some good shoes. I've gotten some shoes from her, a couple pair of shoes from her that are that are really good quality. Uh, got the stiff leather, not the the soft uh, shattered backboard leather. So these are actually pretty good. I mean, th this leather feels real good. Um, I got the shoe tree in there right now, but as you can see, I'm pushing it down, pops back up. Really good. Uh, stitch work, uh, clean for the most part. You know, I mean, as you can see, that stitching is, is really nice. Uh, 
like I said, when you go with Coco, she's going to put out some good shoes. I know that she had a problem with her website and the hacking, or not the hacking, the glitch. But, um, I mean, her and PK, which I'll do a review on the Blue Moon that I got from PK, uh, great quality. Uh, I, I don't risk going with these budget batches only because... You don't know what you're gonna get. I, I got a budget batch uh, that I tried out when I was getting on uh, Taobao and all that, buying through Sugar Goo, and I, I, I'm I'm not super impressed with the ones that you get on uh, Weedian and all that. I've gotten some other shoes from. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm getting off the topic. I'm sorry, I'm getting off the topic. Tongue. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if this is too fat or just right. Uh, I you really, as you, as you can tell, you can't tell if it's fat. Like it's behind the laces. Who cares? Uh, the inside. You you guys know about the best hand in the game package. Uh, only thing I'm missing is the track red. Kind of slow on getting those, but uh, you know. It's got the, the cars on one, and then you got the design. She gave me two laces for extra laces for some reason. Design on the other. Don't really care. Um, no, you wear it on your feet. Nobody's gonna see that. Uh, other shoe. You know. Suede ain't dead on this shoe. But it ain't as alive. But it's still soft. Still very soft. Very, very soft. Uh, certain areas, I guess, are a little bit more alive than others. I don't know. You can see. I don't know if you guys can tell, but how the new bug, you could tell how when it's soft and it's got like that little bit of wrinkle in it. It's very good quality. Very, very good quality shoe. Stitching on this one's good. I don't have a black light, don't care. Black lights, I mean, what, what's the point of a black light? I guess you have black light if you're trying to buy a real shoe and you're paying real shoe prices, I guess with real, fake, whatever, but an authentic from Nike shoe, uh, that's, that's when you would need a black light. But I mean, for real, look at that. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Wing logo looks good. Um. If anybody cares about the box, I got two boxes here. One thing you're going to notice about Coco, this is the clay green shoe that I got from Coco. And I'll be doing a review on the not for resale uh, from StockX sneakers or shoes. I forgot the name, but I'll do a review on them. But as you can see, Coco shoes, all three of the shoes that I got from Coco are smaller. From what I've heard um, in Asia, the shoe boxes are smaller. I don't know. You know, obviously I'm not buying from no retail store in Asia, so I wouldn't know. Um, but I've gotten bigger shoe boxes. To me, I don't care. I have those uh, plastic display boxes for all my shoes. I used to put the pictures so I know what shoe I had in what box. Now these boxes sit in the closet um, that I don't use and I have a display uh, boxes that I got from Amazon. 100 bucks for 18, uh, great deal. Um, maybe I'll do a review on that if the, the channel grows. But in any case, um, here's the box. Um, you got the code in it, but I really don't see anybody trying to pass these off as real. For one, you just look at the box, see it's small um, and how much room the shoe has compared to going to the store. Look, it's like they, they barely fit in there versus shoes from, I'd imagine, retail or anybody else got a lot more room in there so i mean that could be one giveaway if you're trying to go buy some real shoes uh, from somebody uh, they say they're real and the shoe box is small 
number one giveaway. Um, don't even have to waste their time, your time, unless you want to play with them. Anyway, uh, appreciate everybody for looking, watching. Uh, like I said, I'll be doing some more reviews uh, for right now. It might be every other day or um, I don't know yet. I got a daytime job. This is only going to be a hobby. Uh, but I appreciate everybody for watching. Till next time.